All right, so you're on the USMLE and you're stuck between answer choice A, osteoarthritis, and answer choice D, rheumatoid arthritis. How do you tell the difference? Now, both osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis on NBME questions present with joint pain. However, there are some key nuances, so let's go through them. Now, this is the anatomy of a normal joint. The two areas that I want you to focus on. Number one, the articular cartilage. This is going to serve as a cushioning between two bones. The second is going to be the synovial membrane. This is going to be a lubricating fluid that surrounds a joint capsule. Now let's tackle rheumatoid arthritis. The pathophysiology here is that you have lymphocytic infiltration of the synovial membrane, and that actually is going to activate B lymphocytes to emanate anti-CCP antibodies. These patients in your vignette are going to have joint pain that is going to be worse in the morning. The key in these vignettes is going to be prolonged joint stiffness. You got to know this. Another NBME favorite is if you have a rheumatoid arthritis patient that now presents with acute fever, joint pain, and decreased decreased range of motion, you're worried about septic arthritis. These patients are going to be predisposed to septic arthritis because they may be on DMARD therapy, such as methotrexate or infliximab. Now, osteoarthritis is going to be a little bit different. It does not have prolonged morning stiffness. In fact, it has worsening joint pain towards the end of the day. Risk factors in your NBME questions, obesity. And what you have to know related to the pathophysiology is that it is a loss of the articular cartilage. So they could give you an x-ray that shows bone spurs, first-line management for osteoarthritis, NSAIDs, and acetaminophen. And finally, this is how you can tell the difference on the physical exam. Rheumatoid arthritis is going to affect the MCP as well as the PIP, whereas osteoarthritis is going to affect the PIP and the DIP. Follow me for more high-yield USMLE content to help you think like the test maker.